Hi, uh, I am here with Peter Kettle and Yosuke Mineno from uh, Roland. Uh, Peter has come to see us from down south, and Yosuke has come all the way from Germany. Yeah, now I'm actually from Italy. Oh, you've moved to Italy now? Yes, yes. Oh, fantastic. Sorry, I didn't know you. All right. He hasn't quite got the accent yet, but it's it, it, It's coming it's along. It's coming along. <laughs> I'm at least Japanese. I, at least I know I, where I'm going for my holidays. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so the guys have come down uh, to, ha to have a look at our outfit at Evo Dental, uh, to have a look at the technology that we use. Um, I'm really happy to see these guys. Last time I saw them was at the International Dental Show in Germany in March, uh, where we did a talk on the Roland stand for uh, Peak and Javora. Uh, I think it went quite well. Yeah. Very well. It went very well. Thank you very yeah. much uh, again very for your support. Thank you very much. Well, it's always good to hear that. Uh, so what did you think? Uh, I, I, I think first of all, let's just, just talking about uh, IDS, um, what is important to the dental industry is education. And uh, you can read the white papers uh, uh, as much and you can read the trade magazines and, and you can listen to the, the salesman on the stands. But what you really want to know is the, the real life story from somebody that's actually working in a, in a practice. And, and that's what they got from you. And they were probably getting information that, that, that they didn't fully understand previously about new materials like the, the, the peak material and the benefits that that can give. Because again, they can look at a sales brochure from somebody, but it's a sales brochure. It's, it's not the real life story. But, but uh, uh, and this is my first opportunity to come mm -hmm. and see you here. And, uh, what, what I love about what you're doing is you're integrating the technology, not just for technology's sake, not just to increase your productivity, but you're doing it because it has a patient benefit. You're thinking about the patient and what's going in that patient's mouth, and you're trying to do the best for the patient, and you're using the technology where it's appropriate. And sometimes it's our technology, sometimes it's somebody else's, but as you have to use the right tools for the right job. Absolutely. It's important, it's important we always believe, to use the right equipment the right tools for the right solutions uh, and I'm very happy to say that the Roland DWX50 that we have is uh, is a fantastic machine uh, thank you user interface wise I mean you've seen how it how it gets integrated with what we do uh, for full jaw rehabilitation um, even though that that's possibly not 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 the target market that you would consider to be the most general market that you would look at it's it's where I would like to see it as uh, being used at its at, at, at its most pinnacle uh, at, at its best state and, and you're, you, what you're doing is you're stretching the boundaries for us. Um, we developed the, 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 the dental solution um, because it was a, re a request, a requirement from the industry. We actually developed the world's first desktop CNC back in 1986. Um, and at that time, it, they were being used for prototyping in the manufacturing industry and also for education. So it was used as a tool to educate the, the engineers of the future. But of course, when you develop a machine that has the right interface, then uh, jewelers, for example, started to use it to, to create their patterns uh, to uh, cast into gold and uh, gold and silver. And as soon as we developed a machine for the jewelry industry, then we started to get the interest from the dental side. Um, but of course, the, uh, the requirement was quite straightforward. Simple crowns, simple bridges, that kind of thing. So we developed a machine that, that was capable of doing that. But we hoped our interface would allow you to, to stretch, to do more. And that's exactly what we see here. And I think that uh, if people can see the kind of work that you are doing, they would not question whether this system is suitable for the, 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 the simpler applications of crown and bridge. It's, it's very clearly very high level. If you're going to achieve what you're doing, then, then everything else is very obvious. Absolutely. I think, it's, I think it's always important when we look at solutions that we look at how we actually expand the boundaries for the benefit of the patient. And the great thing about Roland that we found is the user interface, the actual application of it, to make it simple for somebody to actually use for what we mm. do, just essentially makes it simple for anybody to use as far yes. as we're concerned. Yes. And it's that level of simplicity Absolutely. that's fantastic. Uh, I know I know we haven't spoken much with Yosuke as of yet. Um, Yosuke's been yep. um, just to explain a little bit about what your involvement is with Roland and how you okay. came into play. Okay. Um, yeah, I was actually uh, a salesman for Japanese market at first, but then I had the opportunity to come 3D, like Peter explained, uh, general Roland 3D products. 
Then uh, we started 2011 for, well, okay, a little bit earlier, but uh, practically we started 2011 for dental business and my current boss invited me to join here. I was nothing about, I did not know anything about dental, but I just jumped in. And then I moved to Germany uh, to support uh, our team for uh, like CAM software or meeting machine itself. It's, it's my uh, major, I, I can, I could support this, but I learned a lot during the time about dentistry and dental technicians' uh, knowledge. So now I moved to Italy and uh, we have a new challenge as Roland that's we have EG Shape brand. It's, uh, we're still Roland DG company, but we want to create a new brand for dental plus some other uh, 3D products like 3D printer or a milling machine uh, under EG Shape brand. Right. So that's uh, my new challenge from this month actually. And, and I think it's, it's, it's a challenge that we all really buy into because, okay, it's, it's, it's really nice that you can supply a solution to a company that is building a new mobile phone handset or yeah. something like that and, and you're having an impact on, uh, at a commercial level. But when you have an impact at a medical level, you know, we are all human beings yeah. and we feel far greater satisfaction yeah. knowing that our equipment can be used in a way with the right tools and the right tools now being hands and, and, and minds, you can change somebody's life. Whether that is in dental or whether that is, is any other medical uh, uh, application, that is the greatest value to us, the, the satisfaction that we can get from this. And, and we can see that maybe, maybe it, in, in Japan it is the aging board of directors the medical becomes more important because it becomes a little closer to home. But this is a core challenge uh, and a core uh, uh, responsibility for the company now to develop this medical, medical division more. Well, that's, that's absolutely perfect for us because that's exactly the synergy that we see mm -hmm. because we always want to push the boundaries to make sure that we're always delivering the right solutions for our patients and being tied in with partners who believe in exactly the same things mm -hmm. that we do for the best of, uh, of clinical solutions. That's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. Gentlemen, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Very keep, much. keep stretching us. Keep yes, stretching. Yes, please. Always customers enhance <laughs> our possibility. That's what I always feel. Don't you worry, we most certainly will. We most certainly will. Thank right. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.